the criteria for Samsung Engineering Labs that are, uh, that uh, the candidate should have at least sixty percent in B Tech, and the paper comprises of two sections. The one was the aptitude test, and the other was the technical test. In the aptitude test, there were fifty questions, twenty five were of uh, hour of DRDI data interpretation, and the twenty five were of logical reasoning. Each question was of four marks, uh, so total of two hundred marks. And uh, for shortlisting, around a candidate should have at least one forty marks in this, and there was no negative marking in this test. In the technical test, uh, it comprises of thirty questions. Each question was of two marks, and there was a negative marking of point five. And the uh, the cut off was around thirty. And after that, from the uh, from sixty, uh, forty were being shortlisted for the interview round. Uh, in the inter in the interview round, there were two. Uh, actually, in the interview, there were two rounds. Uh, one was technical, and the other was HR. In the technical round, uh, a person generally starts with a question: "Tell me about yourself." After that, he uh, drive my uh, interview to uh, what were what are your projects and what uh, make you uh, what are what were the reasons uh, why you make this project and what were the difficulties that you encountered in this project. After that, the project uh, drove into the uh, object-oriented concepts, uh, where uh, he uh, goes deep into the object-oriented concepts like uh, what how a V table works, and uh, uh, the the concept of the virtual pointers and the virtual functions, and uh, the uh, the other questions were related to OS, uh, like what is the difference between a semaphore and a mutex, and that's all for the interview. It was around a uh, four and half an hour interview, technical. And for the HR round, actually, it was a formality because uh, the HR round generally lasts for around five to ten minutes, uh, where he asks, uh, "Tell me about yourself. Why would you like to join Samsung? And is something related to projects? And what were the difficulties? And that's all. After that, I was short listed." Useful tip for the Samsung Engineering Lab is that uh, you should uh, give the test out in a very well manner. Uh, like uh, if you uh, score good marks in your written test, then there are very good chances that you will get selected. Uh, for the technical, uh, for the technical paper, there were thirty questions uh, about which I have told earlier, and mostly were on the C plus plus outputs, and some of them were uh, on the OS. Uh, that's all for the uh, technical paper and. Uh, you should prepare well for the object oriented concepts as well as for the uh, problems that you face in the in your projects and that's all